I'm thinking about this phrase to do with the universe becoming conscious of itself and how our consciousness represents the universe becoming conscious of itself. Uh, Professor Anton mentioned it in one of his videos yesterday. I've heard it referred to elsewhere. I've read it in books occasionally. I know Carl Sagan said something similar. So it has something of a heritage as a phrase. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm just not getting it, you know? Or if I'm getting it, I'm just not seeing why it's so important. Why people get so excited about the prospect. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of things there, really. I mean, firstly is, is this thing about consciousness. You know, I've made a few videos about this, but uh, you know, I don't fully understand why people are so excited about consciousness, about why it's, uh, you know, why people think it's so significant. I mean, obviously it's significant to us. Oh, look, a baby duck, look. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's significant to us, because that's the thing we do, you know, that's our big trick, isn't it, you know? We have these developed brains, just like an elephant's got a developed nose. Or, a, well, I don't know, a bat's got developed ears, you know, here, so now we've got this developed cognitive ability to symbolise things, to uh, place ourselves as a symbol in the world, so we're constantly remembering ourselves in this remembered present that uh, Edelman talks about, the specious present that William James talks about. So we have that ability, you know, this, this consciousness thing, but, you know, so what, <laughs> you know? Why is it so lauded to the extent that, that we make a big deal about the fact that the universe becoming, you know, the fact the universe has got this consciousness in it is, uh, is worthy of a statement like the universe has become conscious of itself. You know, you wouldn't say, you know, the universe has developed sonar when the first bat evolved, I don't think. Or, um, well, I don't know, would you say the universe was uh, the universe? was suddenly able to pick up logs with its nose when the elephant evolved. You know, or, or, or monkeys, you know, with prehensile tails. Would you say, God, look at that, this is the moment when the universe can hang off a branch by its tail. You know, monkeys throw shit at one another. But would we really want to say that this is the moment when the universe was able to throw shit at itself? I don't think we would. But we do this, that with consciousness. Or, um, or we feel like it makes sense. I mean, if it makes sense, um, I mean, to the extent that it does make sense, to the extent that when something appears in the universe, given that the universe is all it is, yeah, you can kind of say, well, this is the moment that the universe contains this new thing it didn't contain before. Uh, it, it, it's, it, 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 yeah, I think it's just a trivial thing to say, in a sense. I think it's just trivial. Yeah, this is the moment when the universe managed to grow trees, you know. This is the unit of the time and the moment. So why, why consciousness would be so significant in that? I think it's anthropocentrism. I think we're just being egocentric about the thing that we do. You know, we, we are the signifying monkeys, aren't we? We're the monkeys who symbolise and signify and make language. As opposed to the monkeys who throw shit. And because we're so high and mighty with our language and our signifying, we think, oh, this must be the high point of universal development then. Wow, the universe hasn't done this before. It must be really important because we're doing it. I don't think so. I just don't think so. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I like being conscious. But I think if I had the option, I'd rather have a prehensile tail or sonar or wings. I'd love to have wings, actually. I think I'd probably sacrifice consciousness for wings, given the option. <laughs>